Are you ready to go below the surface? Behind, I forgot what the hell she wrote. Have you ever wondered how many samples we travel with in our trunks? Really bad. It's just called 10 questions. All right, this is another edition of 10 questions at Spartan Surfaces, and I'm here today with Meredith Nicholson. She's our VP of Marketing at Spartan, and you've been here for quite a long time. So it started out with 10 questions. It was a hot wing challenge between Joe Blodgett and Kevin Javelin, and that turned out pretty good. So we started this chain reaction, right? Yep. And uh, it was Kevin to Scott Cucci. And then Scott Cucci interviewed uh, uh, Chuck, Chuck. Scalacci. Yeah, Chuck, mm -hmm. Chuck Scalacci. And then I had uh, the honor of having Chuck Scalacci interview me. And uh, if you watch that interview with me and you made it to the very end, uh, which I'd be surprised the majority of the people would do that, <laughs> <laughs> you, would, you would know that I asked for Meredith to be my interview. Lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, Meredith is one of the original, you know, employees, which is interesting because, you know, at a lot of like suppliers, you know, uh, and outside like major, you know, flooring mills, right? They don't have really marketing departments. So for us to form a company years ago, right? What are we on now? What was this 15, 16 years, something like that? Yeah, we were founded in 2007. Yeah, 2007. Uh, you were one of the first employees. What, what was the number? Oh gosh, I think I was last seven or eight. Seven or eight. So yeah. instead of like hiring an additional salesperson or inside staff, Kevin, he wanted to be something bigger than itself. So he had to you know, hire somebody for marketing to you know, take up that task and brand the product. So the reason I picked you today is because I think you're one of the most unsung person because a lot of the salespeople are front facing to the customer, but you're with the suppliers, you're, you know, they know you very well. And, you know, of course, uh, you know, uh, over the years that you're now our VP, VP of marketing. And I, and I honestly uh, am honored to be here today. You're one of my favorite people in the company. So I appreciate you joining me through this gauntlet uh, of what the audience is about to find out what we're doing today. You were one of my favorite people until you chose me to be on this podcast. <laughs> I intentionally hide, but here we are. Well, listen, so today we're changing it up. So, you know, it was the hot wing challenge and then it was a wine sort of tasting, if you will, right, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then there was a couple uh, just straight up interviews. Yep. And I said, we have to shake this up a bit. So we're, we're going to do the 10 questions format. But between the questions, we are doing egg roulette. And if anybody's seen the Jimmy Fallon show, uh, it's one celebrity, one of our celebrities here at Spartan Surfaces. Uh, we will take an egg and we'll select an egg. And some of those eggs are raw eggs, right? Raw eggs yep. that you, you actually boiled. So I think this might be rigged, but that's fine. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> and we will take them blindly and we will... You know, obviously smash, smash them over them our head. face while we continue to ask questions. Yeah. Fair? Fair. Are you ready? Now, the question I have for you, should we start out with an egg first or do you want to start a question? Let's start with a question. Okay, fair enough. All right. So, so I, you know, you have seen some of the craziness here and I, for, for, um, you know, to make this a little bit more, I would say, uh, friendly to the public. We, we won't have to get into the crazy stuff or the details, okay. but you came up with, you know, between branding and, you know, suppliers helping out and, and you gathering, obviously, you know, funds to help us support these events and obviously certain planning of these events, you have uh, certainly uh, seen some crazy stuff. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of a two part question, okay. right? What is the craziest event that you planned? It didn't necessarily have to be your idea because a lot of these are generated, mm -hmm. right, by <laughs> like Kevin, right? But what was the craziest event and, and of course, why? 100% the beach house. Um, I remember I was early on here. They had done it one year prior. Um, it was a whole week that we rented a beach house um, straight on the beach. The first few nights were just Spartan, Spartan families. And then it rolled into bringing guests into this enormous mansion. Um, and I just remember thinking we're throwing all of these strangers into- What, what, what was the, how many years we, had we been in business when we did that? So that was 2012. 2012, okay. Yep. Um, and just taking these, designers, developers, and 
throwing them all in these bedrooms together and bunk beds and all these different things. And we had a chef and she would cook all these meals and we had ice luges and DJs that came in at night. And, um, oh my gosh, what a chefs that cook cooking meals. And that's, that, that's amazing for being in business for a few years. That obviously couldn't be a cheap thing to do, but it went all out. All out. Unbelievable. All right. So one, okay. So you want to reveal one or two crazy things, uh, that occurred there? I mean, my favorite is one of the last nights Phil Carey oh boy. slept in the outdoor shower <laughs> with the outdoor shower running all night. And you, he woke up the next morning and his entire body was just a raisin. Like he was just wrinkly from that water. Um, I wish I still had a picture. And, and since then, he's, he's climbed the ladder here. And he's, he's a director uh, in yeah. the north, Northeast. Yeah. So there we go. That's there all you got to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been in Spartan for, you know, you know, almost long, 13 years, yeah, 13 years, yeah. which is, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your favorite thing, you know, about working at this company? The people, I mean, without a doubt, the people, the culture, the autonomy, the ability to be seen and heard and have a voice. Um, I love my team. I love the collaboration. Um, I just love the opportunity that I have every day to work with this group of people and, you know, be a part of building something that has become amazing. You know, I mean, it was amazing from the start, but every day it just, just gets better. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I went two questions without, uh, actually, you know, going oh. through, so this might be a double bullet. <laughs> okay. I, I think it, I think this has to be a double bullet. All right. All who right? goes first? Um, paper, rock, scissors. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> oh, here, we, here we go. <sighs> you got one? No. Oh, you got oh, you got the heart. Okay. Uh, okay. So live to fight another day. Woo! All right. So it's it's my turn. Oh. I, I don't have a I don't have a good feeling about <laughs> this one. This is Oh, uh, all right. This is this is going to be brutal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another one to go to. Oh god. Yeah, what you pay for? You yeah, to pay well, for I'm, I I'm going to I'm going to be a, a good uh a, a, a trooper here and not try to wipe a majority of this off my face, but to, to wipe it off the uh <laughs> the counter here so they don't kill us. All right. Okay. That was a hell of a way to start. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm so glad it was right. you and not me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got to wipe off. Okay, so uh, numero uno. Gosh, all yeah, right. you got to wipe your forehead. It's going to get in your eyes. <laughs> all right, I got I to gotta do a little bit. All right. All right. How, how bad is it? <laughs> You're gleaming. Gleaming. <laughs> I heard it's good for your skin. Yeah. Just... <laughs> okay. All right, so we have to do another one. Your turn. Oh, I go next? Yeah, you have to go again because I had two questions. Ow! They're hard. Uh, they, 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 I don't know if they feel cold. Is that? I think that's a bad thing. Did they're you just feel cold? cold? Okay. I cool. had all them right. all in the fridge. Oh, another. Oh, no. Okay. This this was a soft boiled egg. I got I got I got a little I got a little juice in that. <laughs> it's just residual <laughs> coming okay. down your forehead. Maybe. maybe. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is rigged. Uh, anyway, but it can't be rigged because this is my event. All right. So. Um, you, you, you've obviously been in marketing for a long time. Did you know that this was what you wanted to do? It was marketing the original path that you wanted to take. I mean, growing up, I was never the person that knew exactly what I wanted to do. You know, I went to college, majored in business, just knowing that that would open up my opportunities. Um, you know, graduated, moved to DC, um, had a job, um, with the advisory board company. Um, and then I found a flooring company down there. And what I would say is once you get into this industry, most people don't leave. Yeah. Um, and there's a hard. reason for it. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just full of good people. Yeah. Um, it's all, every day is an adventure. So um, I'd never dreamed of being in flooring, but I am glad I made it here. 
You know, some people, you know, say that, I mean, in fact, I've heard that a million times, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but there's, there's actually a reason for it, right? You know, you can make a living, which is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then also there's the people too. I mean, yeah. if, you know, this, you know, whether you're dealing with a designer or a subcontractor, that can get a little tense occasionally, Yeah. but this is nice sort of mix of things. So. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, all right, here we another go. Another one? Yeah. It has to be another one. Yeah. <laughs> another one. Okay. Oh, you're three for three. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll take the one closest to me. Ah, uh, there's only there's only four in here out of ten. I okay. Oh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> I'm just doing it. I should probably not do it as hard just in case, right? I mean, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. So. Well, this is what I get for not liking my hard boiled eggs to be like super hard in the middle. Oh yeah, I will. And I, I even cook these for an extra minute than what I normally do. I I, I do enjoy a, a soft boiled egg. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, they can't be like super rock in the no. middle. It's yucky, no. dry. So, Meredith, I've, I've dug in and done some research, oh, and okay. it it uh, I found out that you love thrift shopping. I do. So Abs a few yeah a few few questions here. So oh. you're a big lover of, of thrift shopping. So what what are they, what are they, by the way what do they call that? Is that like a thrifty? Or like a, or, or, or like, a, a, like, a, like, a, a like a like a Swifty, like a Swifty. Is we there a word call for that? Thrifty, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I just yeah, I just say I love to thrift. I love to antique. I love the find. Like, I know you guys like gambling. Like to me, finding something, negotiating on it, like knowing you just got this treasure, right? Um, there's just something awesome about it. I live for it. So are you buying items or clothes or both? And are you reselling? Both. No, I don't resell. I just buy. Yeah. Okay. You're, yeah. You're, you're, you're. I mean, the majority of our house is vintage stuff. So how many? It's a very eclectic. Is eclectic. So mm -hmm. how, I mean, how many, how many thrift shops in the area do you like, you, do you regularly go to? I don't really have a lot of time. I mean, I do a lot more Facebook marketplace. There's some online auctions. I certainly love to hit up a Goodwill when I'm near one. Oh, you're like, oh, snap. A yeah. Goodwill's there. I'm going to pull over. Yeah. I mean, Restore can be good, but yeah, I mean. So you're online thrifting? Yeah, I like to look Damn, online. you're into it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So, I mean, so how many of those employees actually know you by first name? Oh, no. <laughs> None. None. <Zero>. Okay. None. <laughs> All right. So that was, that was my other question. So, I, I listen, I don't even know how many questions we're on because mine are all smashed, but I could tell by <laughs> you have nice three, three nice eggs there. So we're, that was the fourth question. All okay. Right. All yours. Oh man, I'm running out of things to grab here. All right. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Oh. <laughs> so wet. All right, Mike. All right, how does that feel? Gooey. All right, gooey. All right. So. Somehow I spared my glasses. So again, out of you know all the events that you've been a part of, you know we talked about the craziest one. What was the one that you enjoyed the most? I enjoy them the most when I'm not planning them. Okay. What was your, um, how about this? What was your favorite event that you did plan? That I did plan. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the whiteout party in Philly was just unbelievable. It was so much fun. The band was great. People really took. That was a good one. The costume so seriously. Um, the clients and the Spartan people just had so much fun. It was all white with green accessories. Um, yeah, that was a good turnout there. Too. It was an awesome turnout. Yeah, we had a lot of people. Yeah. And it was one. kind of the end of an era, right? I mean, after that, Neocon East kind of just, um, blew out. And so it was really, we kind of went out strong. Yeah. And then we, we've sort of invested a little bit more in Neocon in Chicago. Yep. Yeah. The international yes. affair. Yeah. That's cool. Well, you guys have always done a great job there as well. I mean that, that to me, because that's where you, you and I work out being out of Chicago very yes. closely. You know, oh yeah. So. I couldn't do it without you guys. Yeah, stop. I mean, you, you're the one who plans this whole thing. No. So, um, all right. So obviously being marketing, you know, for, for such time and, you know, I'm sure, you know, I know you're an academic and you like to read. What are your, do you have three you know, I would say favorite marketers, you know, or people that were influencing and that you in, in how you go and do your job and your process? I wouldn't say it's specific people, but certainly companies that I would look up to as a whole. Um, I mean, certainly 
Um, I've always looked up to Herman Miller, the furniture industry. I mean, just from a comparison standpoint, um, we market to a simil similar clientele. So I've always really just looked up to them um, as an industry. Um, that's such an iconic brand. But then, you know, you look at somebody like Under Armour who has come up from... A, a Baltimore company, right? Yes, yeah, a Baltimore yeah. company. And, you know, Nike's the staple, right? But I think Under Armour has taken their brand and elevated it in a way that it rivals that. Um, and I think that's just like an amazing feat to have accomplished. So is there a person that you uh, have, have looked up to, at, like, at least one that you, you, you uh, think has, has done such an amazing job that inspires you? From a marketing standpoint yeah, like or just a, in general? Just like a person. Because some people would say like Steve Jobs, you know, he wasn't really a CEO. He was a marketer, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I look up to you guys, right? Like it's a sales and marketing company. I mean, I can't market something that I don't know who I'm going to, right? So every day I'm asking you guys, like, I want your feedback. How is this being perceived? What do you think's hitting? What do you think's not? Um, I remember when I worked by myself, I would be putting these social posts out there and I'd be like, is this funny or is this lame? You know, <laughs> it's very hard because, you know, it's not math, right? It's arbitrary. And what somebody, somebody, one person likes, somebody else could think is horrible. So, you know, you're never going to hit everybody. It's always about um, driving what works, you know, for us and our clients. Um, and I just, I look to you guys more than anything about what, what success means. Well, that's a good segue because the next question is you talked about the sales team uh -huh. is, you know, this is like asking who your favorite kid is. Uh oh. Who's your favorite salesperson? Who's the favorite person who gets out there every day and grinds? I mean, obviously you have, you may upset a few people because you're really tight, especially with the original folks here. So yeah. who is it? Do I have to answer that? You have to answer this. I, um, I mean, I met Danny Boyle and Kevin Dunn when I was 22 years old, fresh out of college. And, you know, I knew them. I knew Kevin before he had any kids, you know. Um, so I feel like I can't separate the two, but I've known those guys for so freaking long. They've had my back forever and they're really basically like family. Yeah, they are. They are good folks. And they really exude, I would say, the Spartan culture and, yeah. and help, like I would say, you know, develop, uh, not help, but really develop the, you know, one of our core territories, which is, you know, D.C. Yeah. And um, in addition to being, you know, uh, such a, I would say, you know, such great, you know, sales people, business, you know, development yep. folks. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great leaders, inspirational leaders. Yeah, and yeah. team players. And, um, and to think back to how, what they were like then to what they're like now is unbelievable. Yeah, the evolution of the Danny, evolution. Bo of Danny yeah. Boyle and yeah, Kevin and Dunn. Kevin Dunn and is... certainly Kevin as well. It's, and it's funny because you, you mentioned Kevin Jabon, our, our founder in that group, because he is a sales guy. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 To a fault, our, our, our company is ran by salespeople. And, <laughs> and Adam. <laughs> and you. And we need Adam. Yeah. yeah. We do need Adam. <laughs> um, okay. So, you know, I, you're, you're also, you're, you're a working mom. Yeah. And, and that's tough, right? Like, you know, cause you know, again, I, you had a video of, uh, roast your boss day. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. And they're, they're saying you're chopping wood. <laughs> they're saying you're cooking at the same time. I, I'm calling oh. you cause I forget it. You're on East coast time and I'm in central time and it's like six o'clock there and you're picking up the phone. You're cooking dinner for the family, doing high level branding stuff. And so my question is, mm -hmm. what's Blake do? <laughs> <laughs> he watches the kids changes the diapers does the grocery shopping all the wash no wouldn't that be nice yeah no he's um, he's he's, a, he's but, a great guy yeah but we juggle it i mean you know uh Brene Brown, I listened to this podcast recently, and she did this whole thing about there's no 50-50, right? There's not. There is no 50-50. But every day is a balance. You know, I travel. He picks up all the slack. You know, sometimes he's got to do stuff, and um, we juggle it. But it's rewarding. And um, being here makes me better at home. Okay. Um, and the multitasking, cre being creative, coming up with creative ideas doesn't always – probably most of the time doesn't happen behind a computer. So it happens when you're exercising, when you're cooking dinner, when your mind has some freedom to wander, that's when the ideas hit. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't think that. It's, it's, a, it's almost like that shower moment, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you come up with your best stuff when yeah. you're not even like focusing on it. Yeah. And it's interesting, that's good. Um, so again, you have so many different things that you touch, right? We talk about branding, we just rebranded, yep. right? 
Um, obviously the social components, SEO, you're now looking over like sort of the sample, the mm-hmm. marketing, cause that's part of our marketing, right? Yes. Samples, even though we send samples and we're very, very diligent and quick about it, it's an experience that somebody, you know, enjoys that we're trying to create when they actually get one versus just getting a FedEx package. Right. And Emily has done such an amazing job for her and her whole team doing that with on a, on the dime, right? Making it super efficient without spending a lot of money. So we're going to look at how we can do a little bit of both. Yeah. And then the, also, the, obviously, you know, uh, last but certainly not least is the events. So my mm-hmm. question is, what, what, what do you enjoy most about uh, all those different, you know, components of your job? I enjoy the mix. You know, if I had to plan an event every day, I get sick of events. Right now I'm an event hell. Like I just have so many events on my plate and they just become tiring, you know? Um, so it's, it's the ability to do it all, right? The ability to write and do press releases and create relationships that are so valuable and work with you guys and travel and, um, come up with video ideas and social post ideas and build references. It's all of it. I freaking love all of it. And I love that it's not Groundhog Day. Yeah. So, um, we should probably do an egg now, right? right. So we, we, we realized that we <laughs> didn't have enough eggs for planning on my part. So we had to skip a couple, but it's time for another egg. All right. And, Same I, time and I'm or losing diff- right now or winning, depending on how, you know, yeah. you know the audience would think I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm winning. You get winning. what you deserve, Mike. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I, I walked into this one. All right. So, uh, no, I, I don't, I, I owe you one because oh, okay. you, 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 you did, uh, I think, two. Oh, no, no, one more than I. So. I, I, I can almost, I, I'm pretty good at this now. I think I, I, oh. <laughs> at least now you get to do it like right in your pile of, yeah. a, of oh. a dirty napkin. We're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to get, um, thank you. We're going to, we're going to have to get in, what are these things called? These sponge things on top of the microphones? You're I, asking the wrong person. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to get a new one, whatever that is. Cause that one's a little, a little, little eggy. A little, little eggy. Um, it's a, it's a casualty. Um, you know, the other thing when I when I took a deep dive in, you know, research is I heard that you have uh, a love of fried uh, potatoes of all sorts. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, I love I love chips, popcorn, french fries. Give it to me. Crunchy. So, OK, so we'll, we'll run through a few and you have to sort of like pick one or the other. Okay. Which one do you like the most? Oh, you, you OK. Can lo- you can love. OK, so french fries or tater tots. Oh, french fries. Okay, French fries or Doritos? French fries. French fries or Cheetos? French fries. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, this so is I really, really like French no, fries. Okay, do you like anything on the French fries? Or are you che- ranch. A oh, ranch. Oh, I eat ranch. Ranch. Eat okay. So much That's ranch. a new one. I know because yeah. in Britain, they're like, uh, uh, they like the mayonnaise mm-hmm. on that. No, thanks. Well, I guess ranch is 90% mayonnaise. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, your little e- uh, Euro. I do cheat. really love Cheetos, though. I could have chosen the Cheetos. Really? So it's almost Cheetos. Um, are you, who's a better cook, you or Blake? Me. Are you? Mm-hmm. Would he say that? Yeah, he what, would. What would the kids say? Me. Yeah. I mean, I. Yeah. So do you like cooking like big elaborate meals? I do. I mean, as I'm sure anybody with a child knows the fun of cooking disappears a little bit when you're cooking for kids. Um, but, yeah. but I do. I love cooking big meals and. Um, when I get the chance to do it, uh, certainly brings me joy from start to finish. What is your favorite dish that Blake makes? Uh-oh. Oh, he makes um, <laughs> really, really good fish tacos. Oh, good fish tacos. Okay. Yeah. And what would he say yours is? That he, I make? He's, you know what? That guy would eat anything. Um, he probably likes my tofu bowls, but he's easy to please. Tofu bowls? You guys getting fancy over there. My kids will not eat anything from French fries to uh, chicken fingers. So <laughs> sounds like your kids are not. What would Send be the favorite kids meal? That my kids would choose? Yeah. I mean, they love the tofu bowls. That's, I was just saying, that's you, something you, they do once a week. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, there was one question because I know, do you make your own French fries? I have an air fryer and I will make my own air fries. Like you own you own like chop fries. them up and do yeah. the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. But these days it's mostly bagged. Okay, so is it? Oh, so you okay? You get the crinkle ones mm-hmm. or oh, crinkle ones are good. Sweet yeah. potato ones. I don't. I like them all. Yeah. So do you have a favorite fast food one? That because I know you're you're Chick Fil A. Yeah. Oh, Chick Fil A. Oh, for sure. I love their waffle. Over fries. McDonald's. Yeah, all day. What, what about curly fries? 
I like curly fries. Like curly fries are good. Arby's is, is bomb. Ooh, I've never had Arby's. Meredith, as we grow across the country, mm-hmm. right, and we're expanding r- rapidly, you know, we just hired a bunch of people in the pack Northwest, uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, obviously, we're, we're expanding down to the Southwest as well, venturing well above, you know, uh, west of the Mississippi nowadays. Um, from a marketing standpoint, what do you think the largest challenge is going to be for us as a company and for you? I think for all of us, it's culture. You know, it's maintaining what we built um, and somehow um, getting the Spartan voice everywhere, right? How do we show somebody that, you know, works alone um, in North Dakota um, what we were made of and how um, we were built? What the, what's the foundation? Um, and even through our customer service, as we grow and grow and grow, how do they maintain the same drive, the same ethics, the same, um, mentality that we all have. Um, so it just, it just gets harder and harder as we grow. But I think, you know, it's something that we discuss and something that, um, we'll figure out. Yeah. We, we pride ourselves in relationships and, you know, trying to create and recreate that Spartan, you know, experience for the customer yeah. is also be something that's difficult to sort of cut and paste, if you will. So, yeah, no, yeah. I, I feel you. That's that's a good one. Um, all right. I think we I think how many how many do we got left here? I think we're done. I think we got to smash an egg and call it a day. OK, so. All right. So I have one last question for you. This is a big one, right? All because right. this is, again, the, continuing the chain reaction. Um, so. I think we need to smash an egg first. And I think we're going to do this one at the same time. Okay. How do you feel? So we cheers. cheers. All right. One, two, three. Oh, oh, I got another one. By the way, this is not rigged at all. I don't know. <laughs> it's got- that was the worst one too. By the way, I think you're I'm smashing. You big chill plastic. I, 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 I am. T- <laughs> I, by the way, I'm smashing mine at a higher velocity of yours. Oh, uh, you are, and it must hurt because I <laughs> swear these are sharp. All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be good video at the very least. You're welcome, Chris. I'm making your life easier. Oh. Uh, all right, can you you mind? Uh, all right, more paper towels. <laughs> Serving them up. I am getting crushed here. All right, so <laughs> the last and final. Oh, you have an eggshell about to get in your eye. (laughs) This is great. All right. Um, So the last and final question for you is who is the person that you're going to choose for your interview next time? Oh, so I've thought about this a lot and I'm going to ask questions of Katie McGowan. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she is somebody who... You cannot be with her and not laugh and smile. I mean, she radiates so much positivity. She's an amazing storyteller. Um, She's been with us a long time. I love that she's um, a woman who's just crushing it um, in sales. And um, I think, you know, I would love to do business with her. I hope other people feel the same. And I'm excited to get her get to know her even more. Yeah, she has such a glowing personality, she does. right? Yeah. And she has some funny stories. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah. So gotta this, dig that, those that, out. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a good one. Well, thank you for being such good sports. Yes, thank this. you for getting all the the soft. Did I get every single one? Of no, them? I got. Oh, that's right. You got you got. I got at least two. All right. How many did we make? Oh, we did five. Do we? We did six soft, six hard. And do, do we pull a couple? No. Oh, we we, so we didn't pull a couple. Okay, so that makes sense. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. It's yeah. been a pleasure. And yeah. uh, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>